Fellow humans of all ages and from all over the world, be saluted. Ellie Wyrett here. You guys have grown accustomed of me making ranting videos, screaming about these fellow humans injecting themselves on a daily basis with substances, jelly substances, right? This time around is gonna be different. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna take our time, try to analyze the psyche of these guys, because the pride they're basically displaying is absolutely stupendously as impressive as the muscle bellies filled with oil, right? So go ahead and grab a Coke, like myself, for instance, or I don't know, a coffee or you name it. We'll do this rather gently this time around. Now, needless to say, you did not notice these guys are from the Middle East, right? Uh, it is the new hotspot of this phenomenon. Mm. Uh, this might be though in Brazil. It's another capital of this uh, SEO, right? Site enhancement oils injections, right? Uh, what surprises me the most is uh, these guys being proud of showing these oily gains. So this time around, my aim is to ask you guys try to theorize and aware me if by all measures I mean this synthol affects the psyche of the person affected by it because I mean the, the they're boasting and bragging continuously relentlessly look at this guy this guy if I'm not mistaken is from Iraq right oh, he, he, you know he was in a marriage showing his basically oil bellies Right, you can look at him here, same marriage, right? Different outfit though, so he changes like the bride, right? It is a tradition there. There you have it. Uh, again, Middle East, drinking some coffee, like, 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 like us. So these guys, you know, are regular human beings, for all I know, at the beach, right? So, uh, I have absolutely no idea. Look at this guy. I mean, he's almost rotten. You can see his skin looks freaking dark. It looks like a, I don't know, like an elephant skin, for God's sake. To be honest with you guys, from the animal kingdom rather than from humanity. Right? Yet, he is still 30 cc's almost on a daily basis. Again, uh, so seriously, try to theorize and give me some ideas. How come these guys, you know, are doing it pretty much on a daily basis? Don't, I mean, probably, you know, one of my theories is that these guys think that all the pros are big right now exclusively because of synthol. This is definitely their belief. And you can see them, they're smoking, right? They have a cigarette here, cigarette here, and another cigarette. So, for them probably, they think that these... Uh, pro bodybuilders are all about synthol. They don't think they're basically taking any kind of vitamin S or basically training. They think they got it figured out. And it is the way, probably for them, it is the only way to acquire muscle. Now this guy is talking about the quiet, the quiet intelligence. Really? Do you even neuron you? Do you even brain for God's sake? Basmala. So this is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is the Iraqi uh, flag. So it is in Iraq, southern Iraq, right? Next to Kuwait, where there is a, a sea, the Gulf. So there you have it. Again, these two guys. So please, by all measures, you know, I can come here and basically rant and scream as usual. But for the sake of awareness, I want you guys to... To put your own as well i mean put your part in this and try to help me understand why these guys are basically 30 cc's on a daily basis this guy is from egypt this time around his name is abdul rahman right he has an implant looks like a giant testicle of a ram in his bicep getting reddish and almost bluish right so that's a sign of uh, decay flesh is freaking 
uh, decaying for God's sake, yet he still 30 cc's almost on a daily basis. This time around he upgraded to a tattoo on the right arm, did the same thing to the left one as you guys can see, and to be noted, uh, supposedly tattoos are forbidden in his religion in Islam, right? And I'm saying that because he is a um, religious dude, right? Even though he trains with flip-flops, he's a religious dude. He has what we call Athar Sujud. This thing here on his forehead, that means he prays five times on it daily, yet he goes ahead and puts some tattoos. Now, you can see it clear here, right? So, in their head, look, it is clearly bodybuilding. You see him at the gym. So, in my opinion, these guys think that synthol is just an add-on, like a freaking supplement, like you taking your whey proteins on a daily basis, this pharaoh descendant is 30 cc's on a daily basis, right? I mean, so we should aware them. I, I can speak in Arabic and try to tell them the truth, but you guys who live there, it is your duty to aware them. They're your citizen, for God's sake. They do not understand me. I can come here and tell him you are Rabbi, Ahmaq. Uh, I can speak in, in Egyptian, tell him you are a abit. But after all, me, I'm Hawaga. Hawaga means I'm a stranger. So he, I cannot relay the message. You guys live there in freaking Cairo, in Port Said, I don't know, in Alexandria. Tell him, bro. Do you even Pharaoh, for God's sake? Do you even Tutankhamun? No? Do you even Akhenaten? Nefertiti, for God's sake, or Nefertari, no? Do you even Ramses, baby, please? Tell them, bro, you are the descendant of one of the greatest civilization, for God's sake. Next thing you know, you are building the Giza pyramid on your biceps. Seriously, do you even Sphinx? Not even once. So tell them. These guys go to the gym, they lift weight, they think actually that the oil, bro, oil is freaking fat for God's sake, you, you're choosing the, the, the wrong macro to build muscle. For all I know, inject some protein for God's sake. Protein. Why don't you do that? I mean, fat is the opposite for God. We, we hate fat in bodybuilding. You guys inject it. Seriously? Seriously? So guys, aware your, I mean your citizen. Tell them by, for God's sake, what you're doing is damaging to your body, and it is damaging to the DNA of humanity. So it concerns me in a sense, right? I mean, this is basically killing us as a species. And then you tell me, Louis Marco, go ahead, get married and have kids. I don't want to live in this planet anymore, where people are basically filled with oil. Are we freaking like uh, freaking seals? Are, are we whales for God's sake or human beings? Abdul Rahman, I don't salute you. I will not insult you because, you know, I'm taking it easy, chilling and relaxing, but I don't know what to do with you guys. I'm the only one basically uh, talking about this freaking phenomenon on YouTube. I have absolutely no idea what's next for me to do. Help me out, guys. Let's create, I don't know, an awareness campaign. Grab your freaking citizen. Go ahead and grab this freaking Abdul Rahman from the head and try to basically upload some data in his head. Tell him, bro, what is wrong with you? Freaking damn you. I mean, you're freaking 60% fat, for God's sake. I mean, take him to a freaking do a, a do a do do whatever, a body fat test. Seriously, these guys think that it has to do with bodybuilding. For all I know, when they read uh, a magazine of bodybuilding, they see these pros, they think they're injecting 30 cc's on a daily basis. That's the only thing that comes into my head. Furthermore, look at him. He was praying. This is the, the thing to pray. And then he goes ahead on 30 cc's. It just not, doesn't make sense. I mean, it doesn't compute. I mean, he's a pious person. He trains with flip-flop. Everything is wrong in this, in this person. I just do not salute. I will not scream, I'm chilling and relaxing, but I'll let you guys in the comment section aware me how do you think these guys are thinking and what is the proper process for you guys who live in the Middle East to aware your citizen 
to stop. I mean, it, that, that's why oil in my country, gas is expensive because you guys, instead of exporting it to us, you prefer to inject it on your bellies on a daily basis. Not saluted. Not even slightly, not even dating. 